Hey guys, just a quick uh, clarification video. In my last video, I mentioned that to be considered employed in Australia, you have to have worked at least one hour in the last week. And to be considered unemployed, you have to be actively looking for work. And then I made the point that if you had given up on looking for work, then you're technically not considered to be unemployed. I then showed a picture of a drunken Kermit who has lost all hope and has drunk himself into a stupor, lying unconscious on a park bench. I wasn't trying to imply that people who have given up looking for work are lazy or drunk or welfare cheats, although some people would certainly fit into those categories. I was simply trying to say that there are some places in Australia, especially regional centres, where there are no jobs available. Some people have lost all hope and cannot find a job. The government have purposely modified the definition of employment and unemployment to make things look less worse than they actually are. Not only has Kermit given up on trying to find a job, his friend the Pink Panther is also struggling. Together they while their lives away one beverage at a time. Recent reports show that regions in New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland have the highest rates of youth unemployment in the country, peaking at more than five times Australia's overall unemployment rate. To receive unemployment benefits in Australia, that is, to receive the so-called New Start allowance, you have to prove that you are looking for work. If you're not looking for work, you don't get paid. For job seekers in metropolitan areas, they are expected to look for 20 jobs per month, whereas people in regional areas have a lower job search requirement, for example 15 jobs per month. Either way, if there are no jobs available, you can either stop looking for work, which would mean that you would no longer receive payments, or you can just pretend you're looking for work by going to all the local small businesses every month knowing that they won't give you a job. It just becomes a box ticking exercise where you do it because you have to. There have been news reports recently saying that the 20 jobs per month rule is going to be phased out by 2022, as it is putting too much pressure on small businesses who have to deal with endless lines of unsuitable applicants. If there's one thing the Australian government is good at, it's red tape. So that's my little clarification video. I wasn't trying to say that people who have given up looking for work are dole bludgers or welfare cheats, just that there are places in Australia where there are no jobs available. Furthermore, the government have doctored the definitions of employment and unemployment so that statistics show them in a more favourable light. I suppose their goal is to make things look a lot more rosy than they actually are. Thanks for watching.